New era to the fashion world, to the industry. What will be your second option in your so life? My meditation is designing. Hmm. If I'm not meditating, my uh, go-to in my lows and highs is always designing. So that is in my DNA. And Connection coming to Hyderabad, how you get related? Eventually my work is also here. My parents live here. Pain gura, tell go bit down. Oh so, yeah. wow, so sweet. Movie stars, all big stars, whether it's Bollywood, Tollywood, 300 films also you have worked on. This year oh wow. So just uh, five names I'll say and the favorite outfit they ha they have picked from you or what suits to them. Rashmika. Shruti Hasan, Tamanna, Kajol. So Mahesh Babu sir, what? Alu Arjun. He's so dedicated that I had to give him fittings once uh, uh, during the time of Rukhama Devi. And I said, uh, Arjun, I will come to uh, Hyderabad and give you the fitting. He said, no ma'am, I will be there tomorrow morning. Welcome to my show, Trendsetter. Well, my guest is real trendsetter, a well-known fashion designer, Neeta Lula, ma'am, and well, we who don't know about her. But well, today she's in Hyderabad, and I got the time to catch her from her busy schedule. She's been very busy all these years, and today she's uh, having a more hectic schedule. Right, ma'am? So first, welcome you in Hyderabad in our show, giving, and thanks uh, for giving a time from your busy schedule as you've been running around and busy with the students. So how was the show going on, ma'am? About this show. Thank to all you viewers hmm. and uh, thank you for having me on the show. Uh, it has been a hectic day today and yesterday we had fittings and today we have the shows. So, getting the collections of the students uh, on point for the stage showcase has been quite a task because we've had numerous collections that have gone on stage and I think uh, it's uh, pretty fabulous because year after year we have student collections that come on stage. Every year there is a progressive uh, streak that you see in the students and uh, like the ever evolving format of fashion, the student mindset and the student collections are also ever evolving. And it's great to see them uh, come up with such tremendous ideas, so much of craft, so much of hands-on work, whether it be it painting, stitching, embroidery. And uh, I think these students uh, deserve their day in the sun and that's why this right uh, But, but ma'am, you are a real trendsetter and you give the new era to the fashion world, to the industry. I mean, I wanted to know when that you got the spark that this is the industry I want to be in because that time when you were planning to be into this industry, it was not easy. It was a big struggle. So I just want to have that inspirational little bit of story about that. So I'm sorry to burst your bubble. It was not a struggle because there was hardly any concept of fashion. Fashion yes. was just starting to kind of uh, um, get popular. Hmm. And uh, a few designers had come on board starting to make, to create design collections. And people would wonder, what are you doing in fashion? I mean, you can take up tailoring, you know. Yeah, and there is tailoring. Yes, yeah. And uh, for the longest time when I did films, even in the South, yes. um, they used to ask, can I speak to Neeta Lola Taylor? Oh God, so, don't uh, tell me! Yes, um, oh my God! It has evolved from there to now. Hmm. It has been uh, uh, something that I've enjoyed. The process has been fantastic. Every day for me is a learning experience. Every day for me creating a new trend uh, has been something that I've looked back and felt very happy about. And I think that's what life is all about, you know. You but ma'am, have you, have the work. there is a second option in your life. If you're not doing this, what will be a second option in your so life? if I'm not doing this, my hobby is sketching. Oh, same, it's related sketching, to your blood, it's the same if thing. If I'm not sketching, my meditation is designing. Hmm. If I'm not meditating, my uh, go-to in my lows and highs is always designing. So that is in my DNA and that's my passion. That's the that's body, I can feel this, the point, the press points, you already have that. Absolutely. Which a uh, great fashion designer needed. As you talked about, um, your connection with Hyderabad has been very close, which people know it and some people don't know it. So can you elaborate on that, your connection coming to Hyderabad, how you get related and you feel happy to be here? So uh, coming to Hyderabad, I never left Hyderabad. I've grown up in Hyderabad. My education has been in Your child, Bharat your Bali. love, childhood memories. My, uh, childhood memories have been Hyderabad, my 
um, friends are here and uh, eventually my work is also here my parents live here so yeah this is this is uh, where i hail from so when so, bain gura telugu bidda unna oh so, yes. wow, so sweet now <laughs> but that time ma'am uh, leaving hyderabad and going to bombay and i mean how was it like is it like oh, that time you know now we can send the girls oh it's now it's a trend people actually parents are promoting their girls that time what was the spark you got it and you went there so you make me sound like a dinosaur oh right? no, no. <laughs> you did that you are a super woman so, for us um, no uh, my parents uh, lived here but my entire family is in mumbai mm -hmm. and uh, so i went back home to mumbai as well and i got married in mumbai and i stayed on and i kept traveling to hyderabad and back and the work happened the mm. work just happened uh, when i started getting education in fashion in uh, mumbai and uh, things fell in place one after the other from fashion choreography to film designing to uh, mainstream couture designing bridal wear um, things fell in place and all i did was to grab every opportunity mm. that came my way and take up every project that came my way so i guess that greediness of taking up all the projects that came my way created this but but oh God. yes and we always wait for a time a time which change your chapter of life what was the time a change a, a, you know your life change or turning point of your life a project or designing for a celebrity that change over like people so, actually appreciate it on a very larger way so um i got the opportunity to design for a film uh, uh, in mumbai because uh, someone in my family was making the film and i got the opportunity to design for kimi katkar and uh, bhanu priya mm. and yeah i made the first outfit that was a full disaster zone and after which i kind of corrected that and when it came on on screen people saw it and i got calls from many actors and uh, it started rolling that's my journey in films but when it came to mainstream mm. i started with the first collection which was uh, uh, a bridge to luxury and my first bridal bridal wear outfit that happened very simultaneously mm -hmm. so i think god's been kind and uh, things fell into place um on its own i only saw what came my way and i only put in my best to it and ma'am you have been working with all movie stars all big stars whether it's bollywood tollywood 300 films also you have worked on this year and oh wow years. that's i will make it next year 500 <laughs> that's great so the record of 400 is not a joke i mean it's great work appreciate we really appreciate that so when it comes to south what uh, things you work on more like you find a difference of working on on south zone movies and then when you go to the bollywood do you find that difference working no, on think, that i think when you have a discipline in your work culture when you are organized and when you understand the kind of script you are working with whether you work for uh, hindi cinema indian indian films whether it's hindi whether it's telugu whether it's kannada whether it's tamil or whether it's a hollywood film i mean it the, the ethos is the same in, in working on all these uh, uh, films uh, only thing is that you need to be aware that the narrative mm. has to be perfect mm. and Who, what was your favorite movie you love to work with and that was a difficult time for you also to design the uh, outfits or you know a so sweet memory we can say first most difficult film was jagadi ka veer ro aati loko se meri okay and uh, from then there's been one more difficult than the other hmm. and every time i look back and say okay this was my most difficult film <laughs> okay immediately i get a film that i say oh my god this is so difficult and how am i going to put things together in this true so it's always been a, a journey where i look back and say that was my most difficult so i think this this department which people don't know that it is also connected the costume designing what we call it or technician you guys are also important that works behind the camera you guys like we say camera men lights so much of things are there in the list but this department is very important as i can talk to you and i can feel this so this year what are the upcoming movies for the south you are working on so this year i'm working on four projects mm -hmm. uh, i'm working on junior for kiriti reddy i'm working on two projects for kamanna i'm working on a project for uh, um kangana with el vijay and uh, i just completed bro and uh, yeah I'm just looking forward for even more films. So, just uh, five names I'll say, and the favorite outfit they ha they have picked from you, or what suits to them. Let's start with the Bollywood Kangana. <laughs> uh, sarees. Sarees. Okay, Rashmika. Rashmika sarees again. Mm-hmm. Shruti Hasan. 
Westerns. Westerns. Tamanna? Westerns. Definitely. Her corsets, her style is very eclectic. Rekha, Rekha ji? Rekha ji, oh, her kanji varam sarees are trash. That's always she is wearing around, you know. And her styles are beautiful. Kajol? Kajol, Salwar Kutta. Salwar Kutta. Kajal Agrawal from South? Westerns. That your favorite, just now you are designing for her, Kirti? No, that's Kiriti Reddy. Yeah, Kiriti Reddy, yeah. Kiriti Reddy, he is very good with jeans and t-shirts and bumper jackets. And now, you know, our Telugu stars also, you know, their wives are also very trendy, like Namrita Shrodhkar and Sneha Reddy, Alu Arjun wife. If you have to design, you must be have designed. I mean, they have picked up outfit for you. I have worked with Namrata Shirdkar, and we very fondly call her Chino. She is amazing. Her background comes from modeling and films, and she is a wonderful person. So yeah, but she carries off any kind of outfits with a great deal of style because she has that background. She has the carriage. So as we talk about the career point of view, as you are associated with the college. Huge kind of crowd I can see. Girls are more interested. Boys are interested. Now they want to make a full-time career. So what goes into this now if in today world uh, as a permanent career? Uh, I think fashion is very gender inclusive and uh, uh, the whole format of fashion is highly creative. So uh, people who have a great creative mind who want to put in the effort on the craft are very highly interested and should be interested in this. Uh, I think you're designing for not for the actresses, for the actors also, yes. if I'm not wrong. Yes. So Mahesh Babu sir, what? It works. I haven't worked with Mahesh. But what works for him? If you have to design he, something. He works with his uh, uh, breath very well, hmm. breath garments. Uh, Alu Arjun? Alu Arjun, I work with him on Rudrama Devi. Hmm. And uh, I think he carries off any kind of outfit with a lot of style. He is one actor who is highly diligent, um, highly committed and you know, he is so dedicated that I had to give him fittings once uh, uh, during the time of Rudrama Devi and I said, uh, Arjun, I will come to uh, Hyderabad and give you the fittings. He said, no ma'am, I will be there tomorrow morning. Wow. You just name it. What time should I be there and I will be there and we can do fittings in Mumbai itself. So he flied on so to flew Mumbai? He to Mumbai and he did the fittings with me. And uh, I think he is an absolute designer's muse. Wow, that's really great. Junior NTR? Uh, I worked on him with his first film. Hmm. What I remember of him is uh, again a very very dedicated actor. Mm -hmm. and, uh, even then, you know, he was he would work with what you thought would look good, but mm -hmm. he would voice his opinion that this I feel comfortable in, or uh, you know, mm -hmm. whatever his uh, uh, style statement is, he knows it and mm -hmm. he is very good with it. Prabhas. Prabhas again, I haven't worked with, but, but again, what suits for him? Absolute designer's dream to work with because he carries off anything fabulously for someone who can carry off the costumes of Bahubali and carry off western garments he's got the style to carry off Balakrishna sir are very trendy <laughs> I mean most with him oh, like, yes I worked with him on yes, his first film yes okay. Balakrishna Garu yeah. Uh, yeah it was amazing working with him I also worked with him for uh, uh, two or three projects so what was that. the outfits you uh, uh, then we used to work with a lot of suits and jeans and jackets and stuff. What kind of and he carries off colours with him and whatever you give him with a lot of style. He never gives you out. his hmm. own style, you know, so I think that's brilliant. He usually get like, is he okay, like, okay, whatever you're giving, he accepts it. Or he's giving his, no, I want this colour, I want this, any inputs he like. No, I had too? a great uh, camaraderie with all my actors and mm -hmm. they, somewhere they have a trust factor with my uh, sensibilities of uh, creatives and uh, uh, the kind of style I bring to the table. So I've never had that kind okay. of Pavan Kalyan Garu? Oh, one of the most <laughs> finest person I've worked with. Hmm. Um, likes everything casual, but would push his boundaries to wear what I gave him to wear with a lot of humility and with a great deal of uh, respect and humility for what I work with him on. So what on suits bro, him? You yeah. Know, he, he's a surprise package because he, Although he wears a lot of casual clothes, hmm. but the minute you give him something that's a slightly more eclectic look, hmm. he carries it off with brilliant style. Hmm. So I guess the man has the style, the grace and uh, carriage. And now you've been designing for big weddings, big big weddings or the celebrities. So which one your favorite you wanted to know? Uh, all of them. All I mean, of them? All but different 
looks so the color combination uh, because we always to think biddings means you have a red lehenga but you change the something the color combination but earlier we used to have that ye lehenga hona chahiye that should be with gota and red color but nowadays we seeing all the celebrities are going with some other pink or different cream colors and then the trend has come everybody want that color only i think that red color is fading away or what so a lot of celebrities who have worked with have wanted to wear something that's very close to their culture and their heritage hmm. very close to their roots hmm. and that is what's been amazing for example when i worked with aishwarya she wanted uh, a sari a hmm. kanjivaram sari uh, when i did close for isha they also hmm. wedding we cut up three kanjivarams and made a lehenga out of it hmm. for jinelia we made paithani uh, fusion hmm. so a lot of uh, uh, for isha kopikar we made baby pink hmm. and uh, for ahana they all yeah we did something which was again hot pink hmm. so it is, it's been a, a great journey where everybody's got their own personal likes and of course when uh, people see a celebrity wear something um, the trend becomes the look, <laughs> the look that exudes yes. on them is is uh, definitely something that is seen by the entire world and that becomes a trend so nowadays now so many fashion young fashion designers are coming up So, what do you have to say about them when they experiment with their designs, or your favorite one? You love their work. So, I think uh, um, experimentation is something that uh, is an ongoing process to evolve in hmm. fashion, and I think all all younger gen, the younger fashion enthusiasts should do this and should be able to keep themselves aware of what's going on around uh, them, observe hmm. you know trends, observe styles, observe figure types. and create their own market but uh, just a question ma'am like we see urfi javed she has always been experimenting and only for the clothes she is on the new side what so do you say when how people do that you know how you take that when so people we, works on their dresses like this and you know so that's uh, kind of an uh, advent to cosplay as well hmm. and i think if urfi javed has created a niche for herself with her clothes hmm. and the way she carries them do you respect to the girl for carrying it off with so much style okay and just we wanted to end up by knowing ma'am the message to the all upcoming generation a message to yourself which you give to every day to yourself to keep you motivated so a message to myself that i i give that keeps me motivated is wake up and smell the coffee and i literally smell the coffee wow and just a message and to your girl message to the uh, younger generation keep yourselves aware keep observe uh, keep yourself in the here and now and stay focused on what you want to do because that's definitely going to happen god bless thank you nita ma'am thank you so much so that was a really interesting and inspirational interview with well known fashion designer who been creating a big mark not nationally internationally nita lilla well for more updates keep watching i dream